things he's doing are really making us proud, so that's good. So I took a short clip of that previous video. What's going on here is Luke's son, the guy in the blue and yellow t-shirt you saw, is actually wanting to marry one of the former voodoo priestesses that you'll see in a later video. But uh, Malcolm is explaining to him what a biblical role of a man is and making sure he is ready for that. Um, marriage in Haiti is a very odd thing. and. Um, a lot of them don't understand that it's a forever type of thing. So Malcolm is sitting down with him and giving him the biblical role of what a man and a marriage is. We're not talk about the wife part. We're talk about the husband part, but we'll we'll kind of utilize the wife part. Actually, we'll just read the whole thing. So it starts in verse 22. And it starts off talking about the wife, and then it goes into the husband. So let's read, uh, you can read 22 and stop at 24 right now. No men made a mule submit to the man. C'est Christ la même qui délivre l'église là qui colle. Comme ça, c'est pour madame nous soumettre devant Mario, même Jean l'église là. Now our day as a team starts. Got a few motorcycles behind us. That is Malcolm and his translator. And then all the way back there, you probably can't see, is a tap tap. That's what they call them, like buses. And we go from place to place. Australia. Show fair. Yep. this river multiple times. So this is a guy named Latigue who came out of Voodoo a few years ago. This, this is his old house. This uh, through Karis 
is what they were able to build him, give him a lot more sustainable life for him, his kids, and his wife. Come on, guys. We're going to try to sit them. Or we can bring those inside. Yeah. One now, you too. Um, you yeah. <laughs> Dusty, you can stand in it. Okay, ready? We're closing up here at Latigue's house. But the thing about Latigue, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to say in this video, a lot of you will think is absolutely crazy. But uh, Haiti is a culture that serves the demonic. Their main religion is voodoo. Um, Latigue was one of the worst people in the community of human sacrifices to the point of even sacrificing his own kid. But it just shows what a regenerated heart for Christ can do. That he is now leading Bible studies over 100 people in his community. People that used to come to him for magic are now coming to him and giving their life to Christ. So he has one of the most beautiful stories of what of how God can transform the heart. Don't jump in. Sometimes we ride motorcycles, sometimes we take vehicles, sometimes we walk up mountains. <laughs> There's one bedroom, and there would be another room, and then right out the back. So, it's going to be their bathroom. But something like this, you can't really see it. We're up on a mountain, I can't really go off to the side. Something like that, a two bedroom thing, would cost about 900 American dollars. So, think when you are donating, you are helping house people and something like this, what would be obviously a lot more in America for a two bedroom place. It's made a little bit different here. But for about $900, they can have a place to at least sleep and take care of their children. This is one of the churches that was built through Karis. I know. What's going on right now is there's going to be a widow's meeting. Obviously, in the book of James, it tells us not to abandon the widows. So Joy, one of the missionaries over here, has taken it under her wing to take care of the widows, give them a service, and uh, provide their needs for them. So you just saw there is one of the things they do a lot of award work, well, caskets, doors, whatever, bed frames. And uh, we're delivering to one of our um, community people different saws and stuff like that so that they can work, make their work a little bit easier. Again, anytime you donate to us, this is the stuff that is getting paid for. It's creating work for people. It's not just giving them money. It's create, creating a steady income for them and uh, also for their community. And obviously nothing is normal in Haiti. It's one thing bagged water it's not in a bottle hello 
fish on over there. Anyway, you drink bagged water. Not they do have bottled water, but bagged water is the easier thing to get. They have bottled energy drinks here. It's called Toro. It's pretty good. Um, but I just wanted to sit here and kind of go over a few things. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're interested somewhat in missions. And um, so you've got to see a lot of what takes place today. Obviously, we have, we have a really small team this time. But when you live over here as a missionary, you, you get to do even more. And you're constantly on the go. Um, like I said, I would always wake up at 6.30. Me and Aunt Charlie would go work out. And then... 8 o'clock we'd start our day, we'd go from voodoo priest to voodoo priest, we'd share the gospel with them, and based on how they respond is if we'd set up Bible studies or not, and um, so today, we're only here for a week, um, even the missionaries that I'm with, Malcolm and Joy, they're only here for a week, and this is just a trip of encouragement, um, and that, that brings me to what I really want to talk about, is I am personally, um, I'm sorry if you disagree with this, but uh, I am very, very anti-short-term mission trip. The only reason I think you should ever take a short-term mission trip is if you have potential of wanting to live in that country. And why do I say that? Is because it takes a lot of money to get to another country. Um, no matter where you're going, it takes a lot of money. And a lot of mission trips, they go and build houses and do things like that. And if you are spending that money to go build a house, guess what? You should have sent that money to that uh, like for Haiti, for example, I would have rather sent my money to a Haitian because they can build it twice as quick and twice as better than you can. Um, I know it feels good to help. I know it's amazing to see the kids, but in reality, I see it as a lot of wasted money. And um, I think they should those trips should only be taken if uh, there is a true need, not a physical American. I want to go feel good about myself and love on the kids and stuff. That stuff is great, but um, there's there's no need for you really to go somewhere if, if that's all you're doing it for and so that leads me to why why am i on this trip um i haven't been here in four years i lived here four years ago thought it was a lifelong thing but this is my first time back and i've had tons of opportunities to come here um, malcolm's asked me multiple times and i'm just like i i don't feel like it's right i would rather just send you the money and um you give it to the people that actually need it rather than me getting an enjoyable week and so, um, why am I on this trip? I am on this trip because this is one Malcolm's like, we need manpower. We need um, to be able to encourage communities. And thankfully, I, for being here for a period of time, I have the respect of communities. So when I get up and stand in front of talk to, and talk to people, when I preach to people, they, uh, they automatically respect that. Just based on the time that I've spent here, they know I care about them. They know I love them. And this is a trip that Malcolm really needed that. So that is that is why I decided to come on this trip is because I think there is going to be more benefit than just me being here. And um, I really hope you guys do get to see the ins and outs of what takes place uh, living in another country. It's constantly go, 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 um, especially being in Haiti. You are never on an actual time frame. You may plan on being somewhere at 2 o'clock, get there at 2.30, but the group doesn't even show up until 11 or 12 or who knows what. Like... I know it's a little bit crazy, but sometimes it feels like that. Um, but yeah, we, we had a busy day today. We started off uh, going to Latigues. Uh, it was great to see him. Like I said, he has such a powerful story. Uh, after that, I can't even I can't even remember what we did. I'm, I'm pretty worn out. But uh, we're about to have dinner, and um, I'm just going to wrap up each one of these videos each night with just a little bit of a talk of a uh, different topic, a uh, different thing that people are curious about, different things people ask about. But um, Ultimately, we must remember that we, we are here not, and you, where you're at, me, where I'm at in Haiti right now, we are not here for uh, self-fulfillment. That is what the world wants you to feel. Everything in the world is about self. Do this for you. Love yourself more. And in reality, Jesus flips that upside down and he says, die to yourself. And he talks about living for others. He talks about living for Christ. 
and um, that's what we have to remember. That is we're, where we are right now is for that reason, to glorify Christ. And there is nothing more than that. We are here to glorify Christ. And I, am, I hope and I pray that through this trip, Christ is glorified. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, I love you guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. This is only day one. i got a few more days. Um, but I will see you tomorrow.